Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch again with Cougar Rankin. Uh, today I'm going to show how to bring an alignment file into Infinity as well as an alignment file into uh, your Captivate data collector. Um, so I'll just, we'll jump right in. So I've actually got a, a project here out of MicroStation or um, Open Roads Designer. And we were given the alignment as well as a surface file. So just as an XML file. We, we, the Infinity will read the DGN, but I, I asked for the alignment because then the vertical and the horizontal um, profiles come over. The cross-section information does not come over into an XML if it is coming from MicroStation, but coming from Civil 3D, it does. And so, all right, so if you are an Infinity, you, you simply create yourself a project, set up your parameters, then you can go grab your alignment and if you have a surface for it as well, you can grab the surface at the exact same time and just drag and drop them into your viewer. And they'll pop right in. And we'll get our import report. Drop that out. And as you can see right here, we have our alignment as well as the surface. Now this surface only encompasses part of the alignment, but that's okay. And we can rotate it around. And you can see we've got the surface model with the alignment. We've got stationing. There's a vertical profile with, with the alignment. You can see it here. You can make edits. We're not going to go over that today. In that Today we're just simply getting the data from an XML into a Leica format. Um, the data collector will also take the raw XML, so I'm going to show you both ways. So from Infinity, now we can click on the surface. And we can also click on the alignment. So we have both of them highlighted. Now we go to export selection. And we're just going to send it out as a smart works captivate job. It's going to create three different files here. It's going to create a surface job. It's going to create a road job. And it's going to create a working job. The working job, honestly, I'm going to ignore. But you'll see here in a second. And I'm just going to send it out to my desktop. I do not need to create a subdirectory because it will automatically create folders and we'll just hit export. So what this is doing is this is using your computer's processing power to take these XML files and converting them into a Leica format, a Leica DBX. So the conversion, as you can see, was extremely fast. It's already done. Now here on my desktop, I have the working job, I have the alignment job, and I have the surface job. Um, I'm going to create a new job in my data collector, so I'm not going to put that one in, but I could, and simply attach these to it. But we take these two projects, and if you have an SD card, or if you're hooked up directly to your data collector, you simply copy and paste these into the DBX folder of either your SD card or to the internal memories uh, DBX folder. And we'll just simply bring them in. All right, so now we have the two files in there. Um, the other way to do it, let's bring this over here and right here, is you could take these XML files and inside of your SD card or your internal memory in the data folder, you could create subfolders for different projects. So like I've created a, an alignments folder and I've created a surfaces folder. And I could drag the alignments into the alignment and the surfaces into the surfaces. And I, I can bring them in just directly to the controller. So from there, let's open up our Captivate controller. All right, so I'm gonna create a new job. <clears throat> I'm just going to call this alignment test. Excellent. And we'll go across the top here. And I'll, I'll select the coordinate system. Put a code list on it. Link jobs, but here under link design data. I use the DTM. Open it up here. I can see right here. I have that surface, that surface file that I've already created, 5600C. So it's already a DBX, so I don't have to actually do an import. I'm simply attaching it. Same with the road design. I click on it. Oh, not that one. 
and there is my alignment. It's already been in a DBX. Press store, go here to my 3D viewer. Boom, there it is, it is in. Excellent, and you can see it's got the, got the triangulation. We can rotate it in 3D and see the, see the profile of it. Um, you notice how the alignment right here is dropping straight down? It's because there's no vertical component to the alignment at those stationing. It essentially went from, from elevation zero and then up at station, I think it was like 190 something, they started the vertical profile and that's why there's now a, a vertical component to this alignment. All right, so that is how you do it from, from infinity, automatically creating DBX jobs. But let's say you just have the XML and you do not have infinity. So we go, new job, I'm just gonna call us line two, over coordinate system code list. We're not gonna link anything right now because we, have, we don't actually have these where they're simply as XML files, we'll hit store. So now we go down here to import data and we'll import an alignment. And it is a Linux XML file. And I know where it is on the internal memory. And it's under u.alignments. Open the file. And it was, I this one has to open. So there we go. It's going to import it. It's going to create a alignment Give the exact name a roads job with the same name as the other elements. And I'm just going to go ahead and just mix it up a little bit. So I think I might have a duplicate on there. So let's call it S2 alignment. And then we'll press OK. It's going to import, it's going to import it one line. Okay. There we go. Do you want to import more data? Yes, I do. Back up though. Import data. So if I want to import the surface as an XML, and there it is. There is the pond, and I will want this one in here, S2C. And I want to import the DTM only. There's not a lot of points and lines, because I think I know this is just a surface, so I'll only import the DTM. That's okay. And there we go. Triangles are imported. Go here to my 3D viewer. Boom. Now it's how you bring in just the raw XML files. And these can now be utilized in the stake DTM or the stake to a road app. So under the road, I have the S2 alignment in there. Automatically attached. Same with the DTM. If I wanted to change it, I could simply hit the define button and change that what I'm working with that job. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you.